Hi everybody, it's Rhonda. And today we are going to once again keep things really simple. And the reason for that is because simple works. We're gonna talk about why choosing one starting point, one look, one style, one vibe, how that is gonna help you crank out a lot more designs in a lot less time. So today I'm going to once again show you how I am going to do this using Canva and one simple starting image. All right. So a lot of times we will sit down for our design block if, if you work in blocks like I do and you'll open this program, you'll open Kittle, you'll open your email, you'll open TikTok, you'll open Pinterest, and at the end of your design time, you're wondering why you didn't get anything finished. And it's because our brains are bouncing around like a toddler in a bounce house. We are not staying focused on anything. And every time we switch things up, our brain has to uh, reload with new thought patterns, new colors, new textures, new vibes, new layouts. And all that restarting, that kills your design block. So what I have been trying to do a lot is sticking with a one style strategy. I pick one look and that's what I stick with for my entire designing block. However much time I've given myself today to design, I am picking one look, one style, and I'm sticking with it. That way I can get a lot more done. And at the end of my design time, I actually feel like I have accomplished something. So today, I am going to be using this distressed American flag. All right. And I picked that because the U.S. is going to be 250 years old in July. And so I've already started seeing an uptick in sales for anything patriotic. And flags are just always a good seller. They're just always popular. So and the grunge look is just crazy popular right now, too. So this distressed flag is my anchor everything i make today we're going to use this vibe and it's going to be crazy simple you, you're going to be amazed at how simple this is and how we can create a ton of designs with just this a little bit of text and some super simple elements here in canva all right so let's get started and i will show you what i mean so I have my flag here, all right? I already have it on. I'm gonna optimize this particular design for a black shirt because that's what it will look best on and that's what will probably sell the best. Is this on a darker colored shirt or you could make this a tumbler wrap? It, it doesn't matter. There's You can go so many different directions with this too. But I am just gonna start here with this distressed flag and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to elements and I am going to search for black silhouette. And I think I'm going to start with a soldier since I have the American flag. So I'm going to look in here and I just want to find some type of soldier. And I think I'm going to go with this one. And this is a black silhouette. So it goes over top of my flag really nicely. Now I'm noticing that this isn't quite black, so I just wanted to make sure that was definitely black. And I'm just gonna pop this in here. I think right there looks good. So we have that where we want it. Now I'm gonna add some text to this. So I'm gonna hit T for text, slide this down. I'm going to change the color of my text and I am going to use my color picker because I don't really want a bright white text. I'm going to grab a color from the flag instead. And for this one, I'm going to write freedom and then I'm going to go pick a font that I think will work well with this design. So either let's make this bigger, take a look at this. 
Yes, I think I'm going to go with this. It says it's vintage Christmas, but I just like the look of this. So we're going to go with that. And just that quickly, we have a completed design. Perfect. So now I'm just going to duplicate that. And I'm going to get rid of my soldier. And I am going to look for, let's say, a firefighter. We're just going to keep branching out with this same feel, this same vibe. And we're just going to keep going and bringing it out for different niches. And let's see what we've got here. About this guy right here. And we'll make him a little bigger. Move him over. I'm not feeling this one. I don't care for that because there's too many gaps. So let me look around here quick and find one. How about this right here? I like this and I'm going to get rid of that yellow though. I don't want that yellow. Center that. Let's turn this yellow to the white or the off. How about that? The same color that's in the flag. And we're just going to change this to firefighter. We can make the text smaller so it fits. Let's stretch it out and pop that in there. Just like that, we have a second design. And we are going to do the same thing. This time, let's do police. And we'll look and see what we've got here. But you know what? Uh, looking... I believe we are, instead of just going for a regular police officer, we are going to grab this police officer with his canine companion because now we, this is more like a micro niche or a sub niche. Instead of just police, now we have something way more specific and we can do canine unit. So let's make that a little bigger. Let's get that in here and make sure we have it aligned. And now there is a third design we have just like that. And let's do this again. And what else can we do? Let's do an eagle because that is always a very popular animal to have with a flag. Let's just look at these and see which ones. Oh, I'm not feeling that one. Let's look in here about this guy. Can we use this one? Make him completely black. No, I don't care for that one either. So let's, uh, there we go. We're just going to go with this guy. He's pretty simple, but we get, and now we can just do, we could write freedom again. I'm just going to do America and resize to fit. And that one looks good too. And you know what? We could duplicate this and instead of changing the silhouette, we could just do different saying, let's do freedom. Let's make this, let's get this fitting in here. Let's do freedom and duplicate this. Freedom 250 since, like I said, in July, the U.S. will be 250 years old. So we can do something a little different on this one. There you go. Freedom 250. And we can keep going here. And let's see what we want to do this time. Now we could, we did freedom. We did some first responder niches. Let's swap this out now and go another direction but we're still using the same overall vibe so now i'm going to look for a family some type of family look through here here we go i like this one bunch of people holding hands we can pop this in here and we can change this to unite Make that a little bigger. And now we have another design. So let's keep going. I think I want to move into a wildlife. So let me do pine trees because I know I want to put a background of some pine trees in here. They're always popular. I'm not sure if that's the one. I think I'll just leave that right there. And then let's look for, let's do a moose. Okay. 
And there's a moose right there. And you can make him bigger. You can change the text here. And if you're not sure what to do as far as text goes, right, you can always ask ChatG to help you with a word that would be suitable for this type of image. Uh, in fact, what I will do a lot of times, let me make that smaller so it's out of the way. Let me show you what I'll do. I'm going to take a screenshot of this image right here. Screenshot that. And I'm going to go to ChatGPT. Paste that screenshot in. I call my ChatGPT Bob. I need some great single word that will pair well with a wild wildlife theme like in the attached image. And Bob's going to give me some different words that would pair well with that image like that. And so we can do, here we go. We've got wander, roam, brave, wild. And then we have the patriotic and wildlife blend. And we have all kinds of really great single words. Um, I can even ask for, give me some two word ideas and we can do you know mountain made uh, american wild uh, elk territory moose country we could do that we can come right back over here and paste some of those phrases or words that oh my that chat gpt gave you let's make these smaller Let's bring this down. I probably wouldn't, if I was really doing this particular design, I may look for something other than moose country, but for the video, I'm just going to go with that. But now we have this wildlife theme going, so now we could do a deer and we could find a deer that we really liked. Maybe something like this, pop that in there. And again, wildlife is always very popular with the flag. I'm not sure why, but it just, we could do, here we go, buck country. That works great for this. And we can make that fit here a little better, just like that. And let's change out the deer for a wolf and Let's find the wolf that we like with this one, just like that. And again, we can come back over here and look for a word or words that we want to use for this one. Let's look through here quick, um, see what we can find. Stay wild. And just pop that in there. And let's do one more. Let's say a bear. Get rid of that wolf. Let's do standing bear. Let's see if we can get, a, how about walking? No. Let's stick with standing. I'm trying to, I want one that's up on its hind legs. How about silhouette bear on hind legs? And I'm not getting what I want. Let's look what we get in here. Magic recommendations. We got Bigfoot here too. We could do that. Bigfoot is always crazy popular too. So don't just quit at one or two. You can make, I don't care for that bear. I don't like that. I think I'm going to grab this uh, Bigfoot though while I'm thinking about it. Uh, pop Bigfoot in there. And the Stay Wild looks works for Bigfoot. Let's look in here under these. I actually like this Bigfoot better. I don't want to go with a funny, that one was funny, thumbs up Bigfoot. I like that. We can do stay wild and you could do a bunch of different Bigfoot ones even. But let's, just really hoping for, oh, how about a bear claw? No, let's see what we got in here. I really want a standing grizzly bear. All right, let's keep looking. Now we've got dogs and everything in here. So I'm just not going to get the bear I want, I don't think. So I'm just going to grab 
something like this, put that in here. I might get rid of those trees because just the way he's standing. Let's do that and the mama bear. There's so many different ways you can go with this, so many. Especially if you, let's move mama bear over this way and put a baby bear in there too, just like that. And now you have a mama bear design just that quickly. Alrighty, so this video is about 22 minutes long right now. And we have done one, well, we have 11 pages here. We have done 11 different designs in just about 20 minutes. So you see what we did here. I didn't reinvent the wheel every time. I just basically changed the passenger in the car. Within just a few minutes, we created an entire collection. Same style, different niches, and working like this is exactly how you do it. You stick with that one style, that one idea, and you just expand on it, all right? So this system works so well because you save your brain power. You're not making a million tiny decisions over and over. You already know the vibe. You're just swapping elements. You can create cohesive bundles in minutes without really even trying. It's just that quick when you're already, when you're working with one base design, one base idea, it's super easy to turn those into bundles. And the ones we did today here with the distress flag, after the first design, after I sat here and thought exactly what I wanted to do with the first one, what each one after that takes, what, maybe a minute? And if you come into this already with silhouettes, if you knew you wanted to do silhouettes, you could create a bunch of silhouettes in Mid Journey, in Nano Banana, in whatever image generator you like. You could already have your silhouettes made ahead of time. I was just sitting here scrolling through Canva, randomly looking for something. So that's why this works. You design faster and you get so much more done when you just pick a starting vibe, a starting feel, and you just run with it for the day. Alrighty? So next time you're sitting down for your design block, don't open 50 different tabs looking for ideas. Just pick a style, whether it's stressed, watercolor, cartoon, retro sunset, whatever, and just stay in that lane then. Do what comes natural. Just stay in that lane and swap elements out, swap text out, and you're going to be so happy with yourself at the end of your design block because the designs are going to come faster. You're going to add listings to your shop sooner, and your brain is not moving in a thousand different directions at one time. So tomorrow when you sit down to do some designing, try doing this, all right? So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments for me, please. I'll answer you as soon as I can. And be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.